Hey there guys, Guts Love here and I'm sorry for not being in my usual location and uh, the camera looking right at me like upwards. Uh, I just got to my workplace and such and I just have like a, be a few minutes before I go and I just noticed that Pokemon America and also UK, I follow both and also Japan, uh, has just released the newest video and I'm gonna do a little mini and not retrospective. Why am I saying retrospective? Oh, it's because I was watching while she's screen retrospective this morning. And so with that said, let's see, discover the final evolutions of the starter Pokemon. And if we all know, thanks to the data miners from the Pokemon Sun and Moon demo, we already know who these are. But still, we'll see and hopefully we get more than what we expect. Okay, your partner Pokemon have fully evolved. Rowlet, Dartrix into... Dissy... What? Oh, it's a breast ghost Pokemon! Okay, that's cool. So, will he have Levitate or will he fly? It's really weird seeing like the, the hands at the end of the wings. It's not like your typical animated owl. Okay, uh, Spirit Shackle. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. I like it. And the thing we all dreaded, Incineroar. It's a fire dark type. It's not fire fighting. Thank you. <laughs> but still, he looks like a luchador. Come on. With a big ass uh, Bada anime boyfriend hand. Oh, God. Hey, wait a minute. You can switch. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. That, those are pretty cool animations. Darkest Lariatic Force. Okay, we're getting really cool attacks right now. And Primarina. Oh, okay. Water fairy type. Oh my god. Okay, she is freaking lovely. I'm I'm saying it right now. She's lovely. And I don't care if it's a guy or a girl. Oh god. Sparkling Aria. Heals the burns of any target it strikes. Okay. Oh, we get to see the new guardians! Akala Islands Guardian. Tapu Lele. Or. Okay, I'm just saying these words just as I see them. Psychic Fairy. Okay, typical pink. But she's kind of cute. I like the design. It's cute. It looks like she's coming out of a shell. Like, even the, the hair looks like, uh, you know, typical tentacles and it looks like a squid. It, uh, or a hermit crab. Like a hermit crab slash squid. Ula Ula Islands Guardian. That looks like a bull. <laughs> Tapu Bulu. A grass fairy. Okay, so are these gonna be all fairy types? Okay. A grassy Surge. Okay, so those abilities are gonna give like a boost to a certain type. It looks like it. He looks like a bull. Hmm. Pony. Ooh, Tapu Fini. Okay, she's really cute. I like it. It's an it's another mermaid. Are, are we going th with a mermaid theme? This this generation or something? Ah, oh, she's lovely, but hey, Primarina is gonna be my main water water fairy type. I'm gonna say psychic. The Tapu share a unique Z move. Okay, so this generation, the gimmick is gonna be Z moves, just like Mega Evolution was with the sixth generation. Guardian of Alola. Okay. Hey, it's the Yellow Devil. <laughs> So wait a minute, so the, the Guardian gets over the yellow devil looking thing. Encounter even more Pokemon, okay. Let's see. Cosmog, Oh, this is cute, I like it. Oh, it looks like a little puffball bunny. Oh, it's cute. With the galaxy on its puffballs. Uh, Alolan Persian, god damn it. There's actually been, I don't know who made a video, it's in my history, it's in my history, I'm gonna look it up, who explained why the Alolan Persian looks like that, and I'm gonna like link it down below. Mount Lanakila, the highest peak in Alola. Uh, we're gonna make an awesome league here, so wait a minute, there's no league. The bat, oh, battle tree, oh my god, Cynthia. Okay, okay. Oh, we're gonna see the other characters from the previous games. Red, blue, well, green in, in Japanese. Oh my god, it's gonna be cool. 
Red and blue. Oh man, is he gonna talk? No, oh yes, they're sticking. Still as silent as ever. Oh ho ho. Ah, oh, you smug bastard. Ah, what is that look um, Nice. Okay, please, please, Pikachu. Come on, come on. Or a Lapras. Yes, Pikachu. Yes, of course. Oh, that's gonna be cool. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, sorry if I have to have cut this short. I just saw in my rear view mirror my co-worker and he is about to uh, open up the workplace and I bet he has. Uh, okay, quick thoughts. Okay, I really like the ideas that they're they're basically fishing out a lot of fairy types, uh, mostly with the guardians of each island, and I really like that. Each of them, what I saw that they're gonna have specific abilities that will boost, you know, certain attacks. Like for example, uh, who was it? Who the the bull looking guy? The, the, I forget his name. Um, he had this ability that made everything green, and then the the next uh, guardian made everything pink. You know the the battle arena or the battle area, and I think those are similar to the boosting abilities that we saw in Gen Six. You know the kind of like the fairy ground thing, uh, similar to what happens in Yu-Gi-Oh. That there's a specific card that makes the the whole battlefield give certain boosts to certain. Uh, 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 creatures and whatnot, and I really like that. That's gonna give them a bit of an edge without having to sacrifice a move. Uh, Primarina and the other evolutions, Incineroar, and the other one, the Grass type. I forget his name. I really, it's it's really really weird seeing like the the wings hanging. It's not like with Halucha, which it looks natural. Uh, with this one, it's really weird. Uh, after a lot of consideration, I'm between choosing Rowlet and also Poplio. Uh, from the very beginning, I was not a big fan of Poplio's design until I saw his second evolution, which I thought it was really great. Uh, it's really simple but cute, and I really liked it. Uh, with Litten, I was really originally gonna go with Litten when I when I was checking the three starters at the beginning of the whole debacle. And when we saw that his evolution was having like bigger paws, we're like, don't get off the ground, don't get off the ground. And eventually Incineroar happened and he got off the freaking ground and I'm freaking <laughs> pissed off. And also uh, he looks like a luchador despite being a fire dark type. So I'm choosing either Rowlet or Poplio. Uh, I really like the whole idea of the battle tree uh, from what you get, well, from what we see, there's no Pokemon League and I find that really interesting changing the whole setup and uh, yeah I'm gonna try to finish this right now because I need to get to work and so with that said I hopefully have more time to talk more about the things that I liked and the changes they're doing for the new series I think this is gonna be the last um, the last news dump we're gonna have for Pokemon until the games come out on November 18th and so with that said thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time take care